shooting here at the Orchard Springs apartments. I just talked to a city of South Fulton police officer who told me that there were three people, all men, in an apartment in Building 6. They were sitting around visiting. A fight broke out. That led to a gunfight. Shots were fired among the three, and police tell me when it was over, two people were injured and rushed to the hospital. That third person is dead. Now, police have not released any names yet. It is much too early for any of those details. We uh, do know that this just happened a little more than 90 minutes ago. And um, we are still trying to collect information. This is a gated community. Police are less than 200 yards from here at the entrance trying to gather more information. We will be here getting more information from them, and we will have the latest for you on Good Day Atlanta. Reporting live in the city of South Fulton, Denise Dillon. Fox 5 News. All right. A shooting at a South Fulton apartment complex leaves one man dead and two others hurt. As Fox 5's Mark Teichner reports, police believe all three men pulled guns and started shooting at each other. Police here at the city of South Fulton tell us these three guys were simply hanging out in the apartment, got into some kind of argument or beef, and things then went tragically wrong. We're working in a multiple victim shooting. A gunfight at a city of South Fulton apartment complex leaves a man dead and two others injured. Police say around 8.30 Wednesday night, the trio were hanging out in a Building 6 apartment here at the Orchard Springs complex on Oakley Industrial Boulevard. These three subjects were inside of an apartment inside one of the buildings uh, visiting with one another. During the uh, visitation of the three subjects, an altercation broke out between the three. Investigators say the argument escalated, leading all three to pull guns and start shooting at each other. Two of the victims were transported to area hospitals, suffering from gunshot wound, one subject deceased on scene. Police couldn't say if there was anyone else in the apartment, but do tell us, at least for now, they have no witnesses, nor have they released any information about what might have started the argument that ended with shots fired. The three subjects were inside of the apartment and which the gunfire erupted and subjects were injured and one deceased. A city of South Fulton official told us they had no update on the case this morning. At this point, we don't know the condition. So, Ty Music checking in, you feel me? <clears throat> I want everybody to know. You know what I'm saying? Before I start this, my prayers go out to Chico Juan and his family. My prayers also go out to Tommy. Prayers go out to Meek Mill, Zoe Dollar. You feel me? At the end of the day, it's a lot going on in the streets, one answer, so I got to give it to him. I want to introduce myself. I'm Ty Music, an independent artist for one. No, I'm not trying to gain clout. Only reason why that was tagged in Meek Mill and Zoe, because I've been doing my research and I just found out what type of dude this was. So at the end of the day, this is how it all went down. It started Wednesday. I hit my partner C up about maybe six o'clock. I'm like, what's going on, man? I'm like, bro, what's up? Where you at? He like, dang, bro. He like, shoot, I've been calling you all day. He like, shoot, I've been at the crib. I'm at my baby mama house. Pull up. Okay, so I pull up on him. You feel me? Once I pull up, I go upstairs. I go, you know what I'm saying? His baby mama answer the door. You feel me? We go in. We all kicking it. I see Chico laying on the couch. I see Chico right beside my boy C Money. So C Money right there. You feel what I'm saying? And then it's me, C Money, and his baby mama. So I dab Chico up. I dab my boy C up. You feel me? And I'm speaking. So at the end of the day, I'm like, okay, cool. So he like, dang, he like, you ain't bring no blunts. I'm like, nah, bro. He like, but shit, I can go get some. So I, he like, shit, okay, bet. And I said, shit, y'all want something from the store? He was like, shit, bro, hell yeah. I was like, he like, just bring me back. He like, just bring back a snicker or whatever. So about seven minutes later, I came back. Now, we all in the room, you feel me? Niggas rolling up, watching Love and Hip Hop, kicking shit. You feel what I'm saying? First and foremost, I never knew Chico One. Let's get this understood. I never knew who this dude was. 
Never seen them a day in my life. You feel what I'm saying? Never knew. So at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. I'm like, bro, he, I, 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 I um, he, my boy C was somebody gay. He like, bro, you know, we've been smoking on this gay, bro. This shit got down called Sit Hunter. I like, oh, hell yeah, whatever. You feel me? So we rocking. So I'm, I'm telling Chico, I'm like, what's going on, bro? I said, shit, I'm about to play my single. Um, let me know if you fuck with it. You feel me? And that's when Chico took his phone out and he had his phone in his hand. Now, I didn't even know that he zoomed in on me or none of that. You feel me? I didn't even know that he was talking towards me. I was so much in tune into my phone. I didn't know. I, I, I didn't understand what was going on. You feel me? Because if anybody know me, everybody who know me, Ty gonna keep that shit real. Ty about his music and his money. You feel me? I ain't on no bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you know, that's when I seen that he posted up and C was like, dang, bro, post you up, but he ain't even tag you. He said, look how many followers you have. So I like, oh, I said, oh, damn, bro, you must be goddamn, you know, like, you must be known or some shit. So he was like, hell yeah. He was like, shit. So, uh, he told C, he like, shit, I'm just vibing with Holmes. You feel what I'm saying? He cool. You feel me? Let me, let me see how Holmes, you know what I'm saying, kicking. So at the end of the day, you feel me? At the end of the day, Chico get a phone call. She go get a phone call on his phone, you feel me? It's a FaceTime. So he FaceTiming. Okay, so he show C. Now C like, okay, shit. At the end of the day, it was his mama, you feel me? His mama, his daddy, or whatever. You feel me? So C was like, he was waving, he was like, hey, or whatever, like that. Now when Chico took the phone back, you feel me? Chico took the phone back and slid the phone in his pocket. Chico then stood up and said, it's bad voodoo in the L. When Chico said bad voodoo in the L, Chico just started shooting. He shot C first, he shot C in the stomach, and he shot him in the leg, you feel me? Then he hit me four times, you feel me? I got four bullet holes in me, and if y'all think I'm lying, I'm going to show you. That's a... Bullet hole right there, that bullet still in my leg, you feel me? I got a bullet hole in my shoulder right here, you feel me? The bullet still in there. I got hit right here on my side, you feel me? He hit me right here on my chest. Them folks had to put a tube in me, you feel me? I had a collapsed lung and everything. I then got shot in my back, you feel me? I even got one in my back. I got hit four times, you feel me? Four times I got hit. Now let me ask y'all one question. At what given time... If you just in the room, you feel me, and all of a sudden, a nigga jump out of nowhere and say bad voodoo in the air and just start shooting. You feel what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I ain't know what the fuck was going on. You feel what I'm saying? And it was like the bullets, you feel me? I didn't even feel what I got hit. All I knew was I was on the ground leaking. Chico then was walking over there towards me. When Chico was walking towards me, I was playing like I was dead for real. When And, and, and Chico, he had the gun, but the, it, it was no more bullets in the gun. Now, just think about it. We got hit with a 380, so it was only six bullets, you feel me? So he hit C2, and he hit me four, you feel me? So at the end of the day, like, I'm, I'm damn not about to die, you feel what I'm saying? What can you do? What can you do? Am I supposed to sit here and let this man kill me, you feel me? Or oh, I got to protect myself, you feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, this is what happened. So, hey, man, my man, my boy Huncho, man, what the fuck going on, man? Hey, when I'm done with this shit, man, I'm going to... I'm a, you feel me? Whoever want to talk to me, free to talk. But I got to get this out. And y'all got to give me a minute because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I damn that can't breathe right. You feel me? These folk, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, my lungs ain't all the way right. I got to collapse along and everything. I got to work this on my breathing. I can't even walk straight. You feel me? I got a crush. I've been in the hospital. I was in the hospital for eight days. I was in CIU for three days. You feel me? So at the end of the day, once Chico started walking towards me, you feel me? That's when I took my strap out my pocket. I had a 380, you feel me? I took my strap out and I caught it back. And when Chico saw me, that's when I shot him. Boom, you feel me? When I shot Chico, you feel me? He did just like this. And then I had got up like, fuck. Then I got up and I shot again. Boom. That's when Chico started running. When Chico ran to the door, I did shot at the door. Boom. So then when Chico opened the door, he, he was scraggling to try to get out the door. When Chico got out the door, you feel me? I ran out. With, like Chico, he was outside. He was like running down the steps. And I'm like at the top. Then I shot again. Boom. So Chico ran somewhere. He went into the dark. You feel me? I ran to my car. You feel me? I got in my car, started my shit up, pulled out, drove all the way up to the front entrance of the apartment, 
flag. It was a lady coming through the gate. I damn near flagged her. I'm like, look, please, man, I've been shot to death. I said, I think I'm about to die. I said, call the police. You feel what I'm saying? So they called. I'm up here breathing. You feel me? Touch my back. I'm leaking blood. You feel me? I'm damn near palpitating. I'm trying to breathe. You feel what I'm saying? I'm trying to breathe. You feel me? Like, this shit fucked up. Like, wrong place, wrong time type shit. Now, everybody pointing fingers, thinking that we robbed this man for his Rolex, for his jewelry. Let me tell y'all something. Man, the man, man, look, man. The man Chico ain't have not on one piece of jewelry over there. And it was told, you feel what I'm saying, by the detective, that the same night that Chico died, his family flew all the way up here, and they went to my boy C. Mama house and got all his jewelry, you feel me? So C. Mama had all his jewelry. Man, they got all his jewelry. We ain't robbed him, you feel me? I'm not no robber, you feel me? I don't do none of that. I'm a real nigga, you feel me? And I kick my shit. Anybody know me know I keep it a hundred. You feel what I'm saying? I got a word. Hey, my nigga fresh back at the jeweler, huh? Yeah, you know, I'm just putting my shit back on us, so I ain't doing too much. Woo! <laughs> uh, Okay. <laughs> <laughs>